it seems like we've been getting a lot more rain lately. I don't know about I don't know about where you live, but it seems like every every other day, if not every day, we've had we've just had a lot of rain. And I don't really like rain that much. It just kind of makes everything look, you know, gloomy outside. You know, gray skies. I like the sunshine. The sun makes you feel good. It makes you makes you want to do things. Although we are limited on the things that we can do right now, but still, sunshine is always better. I just came over here uh, to the studio to grab some some things for a buddy of mine, some canvases and stuff, so he can paint at home. And I don't know if I mentioned this here, but but uh, I didn't quite finish uh, this yet, but it's almost done. You know, I actually started on it a little ways back, probably two or three weeks, uh, about three weeks ago, before all this mess happened. And I spent um, I spent about three, probably about three hours on it. And it only, I don't know, what do I got, maybe 15 minutes left to finish that right there. Not sure if I showed you, but I figured I would just in case I didn't. But it's something that I love doing. I love painting walls. And I, I can't wait to, to really just get back into the swing of everything 100% you know, when the world starts turning again. I still have a lot of canvases left here um, from, from probably, uh, probably about a year and a half ago. I went a little overboard and bought tons, tons of them, just tons of canvases and uh, yeah, I just never used them. So, so what I'm gonna do now is try to give some of them, you know, to some friends and just different people, try to get them, you know, get them used because I don't think I'm ever gonna use all these canvases, maybe in time, but I probably have, I'm gonna say about three or 400 canvases laying around. This is the messy storage room here. Let's see what we got move some of these lights out of the way there we go all right Yeah, mostly what I've used these canvases for is when I do private uh, when I do private lessons in here I'll, I'll use these canvases and let let the people actually practice their trees and different things on them that's what I that's what I was doing with them here's a painting that I never finished <laughs> interesting I have tons of those getting down to the pile here so just making sure these are nice and good okay here's a painting uh, somebody dropped off somebody painted this they wanted me to redo it as they did it and also redo it sort of like my version so I still have to get to that probably a good time what up, mate? yo homie what's going on not much I'm just over here at the shop I grabbed some stuff are you you're home are you home yep I'm actually tattooing Trish right now oh sweet <laughs> sweet cool man um I just figured is it cool if I drop it off to you yeah fuck yeah cool man awesome Sweet. Okay. So I'll be there in like 20 minutes. Okay. See you in a little bit. All right, brother. See you. Bye. All right. So they're all loaded up. Now I'm going to head over and I'm going to drop those off to Brett, who is one of my absolute best friends. If you guys don't know who he is, he's an awesome tattoo artist. And as a matter of fact, we did like a brief little podcast together. Uh, about a week and a half ago. If you want, I'll throw a link down below. You could check that out. Just kind of like, just, I don't know, trying to branch in new directions and do new things. So anyhow, I'm going to head over. I'm going to drop these off so him and his wife can can do some paintings, which is, which is awesome. I uh, always love to try to contribute to somebody learning or beginning to paint. Not that he's a beginner, 
he's a well-seasoned artist, believe that. So I'm gonna head over there right now. You know, I, I realized something. One of, the, uh, one of the extreme benefits that I actually have now from having a little extra hair in the back, a little bit of a ponytail, is these little straps that go around your ears. I just realized the other day, if I take the straps and loop it, like around the back of my ponytail in the back, it actually makes the mask have such a super great fit. And why am I telling you this? I have no clue why I even just told you that, but for any of the you know men or even, you know, obviously women or men that may have ponytails out there, if you have the masks like this, take these little straps right here and just kind of go like that. Loop it around the, uh, whoop, better do the other side too. Loop it around the, uh, damn. Well, there goes that. I broke my mask. <laughs> I have more. I fixed it. I just tied a knot in it. So now one side should go around my ponytail. The other side should stay where it's at because, because I shortened it up. Or I think actually common sense would say if you make it easier you can actually just cut the string and just tie it and it kind of like self-adjusts okay i tried All right, so the canvas delivery was a success, uh, got, which was cool. I got to talk to Brett for a few minutes, and actually, he gave me some of these awesome stickers right here. He's a he's a really good artist, and I'm actually gonna I'll put some, I'll put his information below if you guys want to check it out. He does all kinds of like action figures, cartoon figures. He does portraits for people. I mean, just anything anything like that that you can imagine he can actually do he does a lot of commissions and stuff like that really good really good person and one of my best friends on the whole planet so so now i'm heading home and i'm going to finish setting up my uh plain air i think that's how you pronounce it my outdoor painting setup so that's what i'm that's what i'm going to be doing hopefully i can get started on these videos for some food. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl. Is that why you flew off this morning? Are you looking for some food? Mud? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 